welcome to the review of the Happy Time Murders. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 enough, no, no, cut, 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 no, no, enough with the puppets, no, no, I am not going to use a puppet for this review, no, it's, it's been overused, no, so get up, get up, yes, yes, get up and piss off and take the damn puppet with you, piss off, no, no puppets, no puppets, no, roll. Hello YouTube, Ash here and welcome to today's episode of Special Talks. On today's episode, we will be talking about the Happy Time Murders. So the film stars Melissa McCarthy and is directed by Brian Henson, the son of the legendary Jim Henson. And the film has sex. It has puppet sex. It has swearing. It has puppet swearing. It has... Basically everything that happens has puppets in it. So yeah, it's basically a film with puppets, but rated R. So let's get into it. So the plot of the film, we are in Los Angeles and puppets and humans live together, although puppets are seen as third class citizens. Now there's been a series of murders with the victims all being part of the Happy Time Gang, which was a TV series which aired 20 years before. Now it's up to Detective Phil Phillips, who's a puppet and brother of one of the victims, to solve the case. He gets paired with his ex-partner, Melissa McCartney, who doesn't actually like puppets. They've had a sort of history between him and her, and she sort of fell out of love with puppets. So now these two must put away their differences to solve the happy time murders. And that's the plot. So to be honest, I don't actually know where to start with this film. When I heard the pitch for this film, you know, a murder mystery starring puppets for adults, I thought this is going to be fantastic. Then the trailers dropped and it looked like just any other Melissa McCartney vehicle. However, saying that, Melissa McCartney is one of the best things in the film. For once, I actually enjoy the performance. I actually felt that she's funny and yeah, props to her. Usually I can't stand her, but in this film, she was enjoyable and whatever she did, it was really good even her interaction with Phil the puppet they had like good chemistry you know they had a buddy cop chemistry which sounds weird but it's true you know and I really felt that for once she wasn't the worst thing about the film and part of the reason for this could be that she's not actually the star of the film the main star of the film is detective Phil Phillips the puppet you know it's his film it's narrated from his point of view which is cool because usually you see the main star like Melissa McCarthy you think that the whole focus is gonna be on her but it's not it's on the puppets and the whole world which was funny, you know, once you get used to the puppet swearing, then you sort of like, oh, that's going to be the big thing, puppets are going to swear. And the puppets are really good in this film. You wouldn't expect anything less from Brian Henson, because obviously his whole life's been dedicated to puppeteering and making puppet films. So yeah, you would expect top class puppetry. And they are, you know, you see them working out, you see them fighting, you see them having sex, which is a bit strange. And you see a cow getting milked in a very strange way. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing, but yeah, this film tries to have a lot of disturbing moments, but if you've seen the trailer, you've seen near enough all of them, which is, yeah, that's kind of a downer. And yes, unfortunately, if you have seen the trailer, you've seen 90% of the funny bits and 90% of the shocking bits. If you're expecting more puppet sex, you're disappointed. If you're expecting lots of different jokes, you're probably disappointed. It's one of those films which basically the trailer has ruined because near enough everything is in the trailer. But credit where credit due, the murder mystery is interesting and I actually enjoyed it. I didn't get bored watching the film because I was quite interested in the murder mystery. I do like murder investigation films and I enjoyed it and it was so good that I didn't even care that they were puppets. I was just focused on solving the murder and that's probably what they did wrong. They should have just focused on making a murder mystery with puppets and then add some humor instead of doing like sex jokes and stupid jokes and you know stuff like that. They should have just focused on this story because it would have made for a better movie in my opinion. However I might be biased because I actually love murder mysteries so probably someone else would say it's just boring and all the jokes are in the trailers which they would be right. One thing I didn't like is that the reveal of the killer is made quite early on and it didn't have to be. There was certain plot points where they could have changed it to drag it on a bit more. The film is only 94 minutes long so they could have just waited that little bit more and it would have kept you a bit more guessing and you know would have been a bit more fun. Yeah so I didn't like that they revealed it kind of too soon. 
So in conclusion, I will give The Happy Time Murder a 2.5 out of a 5. The film is as average as a film can be. It's really not that funny. All the jokes and shock bits are in the trailer and what you're left with is a murder investigation, which I enjoyed, but other people who are going in for a comedy will find it boring. So I can definitely not recommend watching this in the theatre. The DVD is possible because you get a couple of chuckles, but that's it really. There's so much potential that was missed and to be honest, if they make a sequel, and then make it more focused on the mysteries and a little bit of humor without all the sex stuff it might be better so yeah this film is the definition of missed potential so that's it for today if you like this video please click that like button and let me know in the comments which is your favorite WTF comedy let me know because I like comedies and I might want to watch some more so I just want to thank you all for watching I've been Ash if you want to follow me on social media please do I have Twitter I have Instagram so follow away and if you want to see more of my videos please click that subscribe button and tick the notification bell I do one to two videos every week and that's it bye bye